What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I am bringing you my WWE Night of Champions 2023 predictions video. Now the show is taking place this Saturday, May 27th in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. So it will have a special start time for a premium live event. I am filming this video after the Go Home Raw but before we go home SmackDown. So uh, if there's any matches that are added after this video goes up, I will be putting them in the comments and the description down below alongside my prediction. So be on the lookout for that. I will not unfortunately be watching the show live as me and my girlfriend are going away for the weekend due to it being a bank holiday on Monday. I get an extra day off work. So we're going away for the weekend. My internet's not going to be great. Uh, so I'm going to try and keep up with the show and watch what's happening, but I doubt there'll be any content um, maybe a community post or something random because obviously the new World Heavyweight Champs being crowned. So I'm a bit gutted that I can't react to it, um, but there won't be much Night of Champions content from me. So without further ado, let's get right into my actual predictions video. Let's go. Kicking off the show, we have one that people could call a dream match. It is Trish Stratus versus Becky Lynch. Now, obviously, Trish turned heel recently and attacked Becky, setting this whole thing up. Becky had a little bit of a break, has just come back. And uh, yeah, I see Becky picking up the victory here. There's no reason, in my opinion, unless Trish is staying like full time. I know she did get drafted, but un unless she's going to be sticking around for another year or so frequently wrestling, there's no reason for her to pick up a victory here. Um, and I would have the legend put over Becky Lynch. So there you go. Becky Lynch to pick up the victory. The Raw Women's Championship is on the line next as Bianca Belair takes on Asuka again. I'm not that interested in this. I'm not going to lie. I haven't really been following the storyline, so I'm going with Bianca Belair to retain. Gunther's Intercontinental Championship reign comes into jeopardy here as he takes on Mustafa Ali. Now, do I think Ali is going to be the one to defeat the historic reign of Gunther? Absolutely not. I think he should continue to hold the championship until he wins the world championship and then he can vacate the IC title or whatever. Genuinely, I don't see this reign ending anytime soon. I don't want it to end anytime soon. I'm going with Gunther to retain. Now, the stakes for this match have changed severely ever since last night's Raw. Cody Rhodes versus Brock Lesnar. Now, Cody picked up a victory over Brock Lesnar at Backlash. It was a sneaky win, but a win is a win nevertheless. But last night, these two brawled like crazy all throughout the night. But kicking off the show, Brock injured Cody's arm. And then later on, he put him in the Kimura and pretty much broke Cody's arm. Um, even after a chat with Triple H, who has obviously been through the same thing with Brock Lesnar, Cody refused to not fight Brock at Night of Champions. So, are we still going to see Cody versus Brock? I'm pretty sure we are. But is Cody going to win? Absolutely not. In my opinion, it would be absolutely ludicrous to have a one-armed Cody beat Brock. I think this is going to be a John Cena SummerSlam situation where we literally see Cody get taken to Suplex City, absolutely battered by Brock Lesnar and beaten one, two, three. Brock Lesnar to pick up a victory. The undisputed tag team championships are on the line next as the champions Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn defend against the bloodline, not the Usos. They're defending against the WWE undisputed Universal Heavyweight Champion Roman Reigns and Solo Sokoa. Do I see Roman Reigns walking around with four championships? No, something's going to happen here. The Usos are going to intervene, cost Roman and Solo the championships. And uh, we're definitely setting up for Reigns and Solo versus the Usos at Money in the Bank, I think. Which will be cool. I'm glad Roman's now being advertised for Money in the Bank as I'm going. And he's one person that I've always wanted to see but never actually seen live. Uh, so that's going to be a real treat. But I really think this is going to be the catalyst that sets up the Usos' betrayal of the bloodline. Or I should say the Usos seeing the light and leaving the bloodline. Uh, and then you can have them feud in the future. So... I've beaten around the bush a little bit, but basically Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn are walking away still the undisputed tag team champions. And finally, that brings us to the main event of the evening where the new World Heavyweight Championship is on the line. The tournament finals between Seth freaking Rollins and the phenomenal AJ Styles. One of these men will be walking away with the World Heavyweight Championship. Who do I think it's going to be? I think the most likely answer is Seth freaking Rollins. You know, he put over Cody three times last year. He's He's been putting over Theory. He's been 
been doing the job to a lot of talent, putting a lot of guys over, doing his job really, really well. And uh, as he does, of course, I know he's getting other Hollywood commitments. I think he's in the new Captain America film. So that's great news for him. But I really think if anyone has earned that World Heavyweight title in this last year or so, it's Seth freaking Rollins. So I, I know he's my favourite wrestler, but still... I am going with Rollins to pick up the victory here. I would like to see AJ Styles pick up the victory. Like, if AJ beat Seth, I would be surprised. I wouldn't be disappointed by any means. Because 100% AJ deserves another world title reign before he hangs up the boots. But I really think this is Seth's time. Um, and I'd like to see him pick up the championship. It would be really nice to see the championship finally over someone's shoulder. Obviously, we've seen it for about a month now. I still have some questions regarding it. Like, um... Is it going to follow the, the lineage of the old big gold? You know, this one um, and continue from Randy Orton's 2013 reign. Uh, is it going to be a whole new lineage? I, I really don't know. But there's some great feuds that can be held. And I, I've, if there was a few first champions I'd pick, you know, Rollins, uh, Edge, Styles even. There's, there's a lot of guys that I really hope get to hold that championship. And I can't wait to see someone finally pick it up but there you go guys that was my knight of champions predictions video let me know your predictions in the comments section down below who do you want to see pick up the world heavyweight title in the future let me know that as well i've been joe from joe Talks wrestling you guys have been awesome like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next video goodbye